G'day beautiful people, hello and welcome to The Division, I don't know, the uh, 1.4 patch is out and I thought I would jump on and give it a crack and see what they have fixed, how well everything's going, I still have a few issues with the game and there's a lot that I actually think they've done really really well so we're going to go over all that stuff and we'll start with a couple of the little issues. Uh, but if you do go on to find this video useful or you like it at all, please drop a like down below, leave me a comment if you have any questions, and consider subscribing for potentially more Division content. Uh, I'll go into that a little bit later. Okay, so starting off, the things that I do not like. Um, I'm still getting shot through walls by uh, NPCs. Uh, I have experienced today after probably I probably played for about four hours some of the worst stuttering and frame rate issues I've ever experienced in any game in my life. It was ridiculous. Uh, it would carry on for about fifteen to twenty seconds at a time while I was uh, farming through the Amos department missions, going to get the weekly bounty done. Uh, it's definitely not fun. Um, the Dark Zone is still full of douchebags, although I have always enjoyed the Dark Zone. I'm not one of those people that shies away from it. I've always enjoyed it. Uh, but it's just really... It's, it's really weird. Um, I think because of the fact that they've, uh, they've got level 33 NPCs the whole way through the Dark Zone, and it's a 205 bracket up to 226, uh, there's really no incentive for anyone to be up the top unless they're looking for a certain weapon to drop that has a higher chance to drop uh, from particular enemies which I highly doubt because considering the amount of farming that you can do in the PvE environment now there's really no need to farm the Dark Sun anymore you can literally get more gear from the PvE aspect of it now uh, I probably in the space of about four hours received up to about up to or over a hundred 229 high ends and gear set pieces. Uh, it was ridiculous how much stuff dropped, which is also a little bit of an issue. It's not, it's a good and a bad thing. <coughs> Excuse me, it's a good and a bad thing, I suppose. Um, I mean, you don't want too little to drop and you don't want too much to drop, and I feel like maybe there was a little bit too much dropping, but uh, I, I've, I'm not used to playing this as a solo person, so I'm not sure if that's really an issue for everyone else. There are a couple of other tiny little issues that I have. Um, there are your daily quests, which give you really, really good rewards, and the weekly quest, which is a bummer to get through to find out that the reward is actually worse than the crafting material reward. Um, it's much worse. I pretty much got the exact same reward minus all the crafting materials. I just got one one piece of gear and that's it for doing the whole weekly which just seems ridiculous uh, and the crafting material one I got a navy mp5 and I got you know nearly six of every crafting material um, that's enough bitching I suppose uh, really if we go on to the good stuff uh, I think that the world tier system really works for those of you that don't understand what the world tier system is the way that they've set it up is that there's a world tier 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so that that world tier dictates uh, how hard the enemies are going to be and what type of loot you're going to get. So world tier 1, you'll be against easier enemies and you'll be getting like 164 loot. Um, world tier 2 will be in the 180s and then world tier 3 will be the 204s and world tier 4 will give you the 229 gear um, so world tier 4 I'm fighting against level 33 NPCs uh, and then your difficulties just dictates what type of enemies you're fighting so if you're on normal you're going to be fighting the easiest enemies they'll still be level 33 you'll have uh, red health bar enemies and a couple of uh, veterans and then when you're in hard you'll be fighting vet pretty much all veterans a couple of uh, couple of mages uh, and then once you go into challenge and heroic of course you'll be up against the uh, the major enemies um, I think that works really really well because then on top of that um, the difficulty is also dictating uh, 
how much loot you can potentially get. I was getting, uh, just doing Amherst Apartment on hard over and over for the weekly, I was getting probably four to five high ends and uh, gear set pieces per run. And it's taken me sort of five minutes, five to ten minutes to do a run, which is quite good. Um, it's really good. One of my favorite things, and it's probably the least impactful on the game, just seems so intelligent, is the fact that your XP, once you get to max level, is now no longer absolutely useless because there is the bar that you can see at the top uh, top of the screen. Once that bar is full, you get a field proficiency cache, and you open that up and get uh, two guaranteed 229s out of it, uh, which is great. I've probably got uh, six or seven of them, I think, six of them in my playtime today. Uh, obviously, they'll get harder and harder to unlock, but that's just that just seems so intelligent. I don't know why they didn't have that implemented in the first place. Um, my rewards from challenge mode mission for the week uh, were pretty dodgy compared to the hard mode. Um, I think I actually got more loot out of the hard missions. Uh, I did 10 or 11 hard missions and I did the one challenge mode and I got more gear out of at least half of my hard mode runs but um, that's neither here nor there I think we get a little bit too much anyway the reintroduction of named NPCs into the regular game world I think is brilliant um, I'm, I came across two in my playtime and I actually got Tenebrae to drop uh, first go off of one of them uh, which I think was is that Bullet King? No. No, it's the guy on the very far left uh, of the map. Um, which is great. That's great. More loot. Um, the other problem that I have, because that's pretty much all that you can say that is good about it, I mean, the world tier system and the difficulty system is great. The loot, getting a lot of loot is great. I think um, even just the purchasable stuff in the stores now is great. I think they've worked that all out really well. That all works great. The loot system is great, but there's no fucking content. Um, I, for for an hour or two, I farmed missions, and in I enjoy it. I don't get too bored. I think it's fine. I can still go out into the dark zone and not get bored. Like I've spent endless hours just running around the dark zone and killing NPCs and not getting bored but I load up the underground and two minutes into a mission I want to fucking turn the game off because it bores the shit out of me I don't know what it is it's just it's not good I don't know I can't explain it it just doesn't it just doesn't interest me whatsoever um, and it's great that they fixed the game but there's still no content and being a PlayStation player the worst part is that they're probably going to bring out content and then still force us to wait a couple of weeks before we get any anyway. So you fix the game, that's great. You'll In the next couple of weeks you'll bring out some more content. The PC players and the Xbox players might come back. But you've still got a bunch of jaded PlayStation players that have nothing to fucking do. I mean, when the last DLC came out, we just got bored shitless because all we really had to do was the Dark Zone. Um... We had the new incursion, didn't really have any interest in doing that, and then you get given the underground, and the moment that I came out, I went in, I spent about 20 minutes in there and went, oh fuck this, this is boring. Um, so great, you fixed the core game, I think you've got it working the way that it should. Now I think maybe it's time that you pull your finger out and actually fix the content in the game. Um, actually put some effort into your incursions instead of making the missions that are more boring and tedious than an actual mission um, I'm not expecting anything destiny size I'm not expecting a destiny raid I was before the game came out I think you had a perfect opportunity to do it and I think if uh, the division launched working the way it does now with actual raids you would probably have one of the best games ever made in uh, 
uh, in your pocket and you would be making a lot of money and you'd be making a lot of people happy but uh, your content is just really really boring um, and you need to sort your shit out massive I mean that's all I really have to say um, I mean if you if you enjoyed the game before you enjoyed the content but you just felt like it wasn't rewarding um, because you had to go in the dark zone and you didn't like the dark zone and you wished that you could get the loot out and that's really all you wanted to do you will love it because the loot is gonna drop like crazy uh, in the PvE aspect and you don't even need a team you can solo it uh, no matter what you do just your hard missions are gonna get you so much loot um, it's definitely very very rewarding in that aspect but apart from that there's nothing that's really happened uh, that makes anything sort of really worthwhile sticking with it now I mean I was hoping for dark zone changes and they have they've settled the dark zone down a little bit by sort of lowering the damage done by the NPCs but uh, I don't know it's not exactly what I wanted. I wanted to be a little bit harder. I didn't really mind them being 35s. I just thought that uh, getting just tapped by a fire and insta-killing you was just ridiculous. That's all I thought needed to be toned down. The shotgunners need to be toned down and that was it, really. Um, maybe drop them down by 5 to 10%. Not 15 or higher. I don't think you needed to go quite that far. Um, but yeah, I spent four or five hours. I thoroughly enjoyed playing by myself in the PvE. Uh, if you used to enjoy doing that and just wish that you got even better rewards, I think you might like it if you pop back on. Uh, but for now, that's about all it's going to get out of me. I will jump on every now and then and uh, farm a few missions and collect some gear and then do bugger all with it and hope that the content gets better as it goes along but that's pretty much all I've got um, there's not really too much to say about it I mean people can make as many videos as they want praising the shit out of it but really it's not that much better the loot is the only thing that I feel like they've changed that was a good thing uh, everything else just is still either the same or just and so I uh, I hope that was helpful in a way um, if it was please drop me a like down below leave me a question if you have any questions whatsoever um, I understand that I may make it sort of sound worse than it is, but really in all honesty, like I said, if you enjoy the PvE aspect of the game and you just wish there was more loot, please give it a go, you will thoroughly enjoy it. Uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just salty. I get salty in my old age. Uh, but that's it for now. Thanks uh, so much for watching. Um, I love your face and I will catch you in the next one if there is one because I'm not sure how much uh, content is uh, going to be getting put on YouTube due to the fact that I'm a PlayStation player and we don't get much content. We have to wait too long, so no one really wants to watch it two weeks later. But as I said, thank you so much for watching. I love your face. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.